Welcome everyone, my name is Wolfman Mozzie, and today we are playing The Dungeon Beneath. This is a game developed by Puzzle Box Games. I picked up this game on sale on Steam. One, because it was a turn-based uh, strategy game, but two, because of the art style. It reminded me of just kind of an old-school pixel uh, grid-based tactical game, and um, I wanted to check it out. It also says that it's an auto-battler on the Steam description, so I'm not entirely sure how this game's gonna play, to be honest, but let's go ahead and check it out and find out together, shall we? But first, if you do enjoy the content and would like to support the channel, go ahead and click on that red subscribe button down below. You'll be notified when I post new videos, and I greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, well, without further delay, let's go ahead and jump to the dungeon beneath. Here for Abaddon. What a terrible fate. Well, there's no turning back now. This music's so good. Okay, so just click on the sword, I guess. The upper dungeon. Got myself a mouse. So just click on the mouse. Book of Champions? Wait, are these all the characters we can get? That's so many. Alright, well, let's find out. Dungeon Boss, The Watcher. Targets a random character in any lane. This music's so good. <laughs> Alright, characters will automatically attack the nearest enemy in their lane. Click on an allied character to move them. Some characters, such as followers, can only attack from the front column. Other characters can only attack from the back column. Hover over a character to see which unit they will attack. Select the attack button when you're ready. Okay, so he's gonna attack the boss. A valid target will attack the opposing hero. Battle ends when the hero is defeated. How much health do they have? Do we know? Okay, he's got seven. You can do one damage. One damage. Give another ally in this lane plus two armor. Okay. Character in any lane. So is he gonna do one damage to all of them or just one of them? Hmm. Let's attack. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Okay, so yes, he can attack anyone in the Okay. I thought he just attacked his his own teammate. But no. Let's move him here. Exhausted? You can rearrange your party members between rounds. Unlike the start of the battle, characters that are moved between rounds will become exhausted, skipping their next attack. Oh no! Okay. Knowing when you... Knowing when to rearrange your party and when not to is critical to surviving. Well, I should have read that before I moved him. Oh well. Um... Yeah. So he gets attacked. Oh, we probably wanted to keep him alive, actually. That way it, it would have had a chance to actually attack him. Okay, he's got armor. If the character has no valid target, they will attack the enemy hero instead. The battle ends when a hero is defeated. Got it. I think this kills him. What happens to our health? Does it get reset? Collect your loot. After a battle, any dead paw... Okay. Any dead party members will be revived and damaged party members will be healed. However, damage to your hero is permanent. So that's our hero. Okay, got it. I don't know if we missed any loot in that first room, so... Oops. 
going to rearrange these. Uh, what do we have here? Berserker, level one dwarf fighter. Oh, okay, so we have four gold. Channeler, an elf fighter. Follow up? Oh, okay. Does something after the character's normal attack. Right, like his uh, armor one. Oh, that's round end, actually. Trigger all allied doom effects. Hmm. A brewmaster. What is this guy? Berserker. Restore one HP to a damaged non-heroic ally. Gain plus one power. Counter. Does something when the character loses health and survives. Okay. This is a um, potion of lesser healing. Okay. I think let's go with the brewmaster. Yeah, let's go with brewmaster. Can I? I think that just uses it immediately, and I don't want to do that. Refresh camp fire. No, I think we're just gonna keep the rest. So we can either fight. I'm assuming a gelatinous cube. Also, I don't really know what happened to music. Uh, or a skeleton warrior. Let's go with skeleton warrior. Azul uh, has plus one attack for each ally skeleton. Follow up, summon a a bone pile. Okay. What is this? It's just a barrel. Oh, um, how about, hmm, I'm gonna move you there. Oh, is this the start of the fight? This action might be okay. Let's move you here. Yeah. Characters with high speed attack first. You can view the attack order by holding A and hovering over the attack order. Ah, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Got it. Now this guy didn't... Moving characters and your hero between rounds is critical in surviving. To protect vulnerable allies or to take down dangerous foes. Plan ahead, characters that move will become exhausted. Right, okay. So, there's a counter. Oh, when he loses health. Oh, I misread that, okay. Um, so that's gonna take down the barrel. That should be okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. We'll attack. Okay, barrel is dead. He's gonna attack the hero. Skeleton's not dead. Oh, how much health does a skeleton have? Oh, he only has one that left. Okay, that's fine. Should check the order, but he heals one. That's fine. Accept the order. Okay, our order. Oh! Did not realize how much damage you'd be taking. Uh, we gotta leave him here. Otherwise, no one would attack the bone pile and the skeleton would be, uh, resurrected. We don't want that. Okay, so that's good. He's gonna gain armor. He only has one health left. 
that's not good. Uh, he's gonna die either way. That's fine. Works out in the end. Take the enemy hero. Sweet. Three gold. I'll take it. What is that mana potion? Potion experience gain one experience that died this battle can't gain experience. Okay. Um, one XP. I'll give it to you, I guess. Oh, uh, maybe I should have looked at to see my hero. Not really sure what leveling I'm here would do. Fighter only. Uh, human fighter, follower, follower. So I can go to either of these two. I probably. Let's go with him. Because the more health he has, the more chances to proc healing. Rat tooth. When an allied beast dies, summon a dire rat. Okay. He's going first. Yeah. I like that. Let's go that. Maybe keeping the rats alive is a better option. So, I don't know how how I know if the fighter can stay in the back or not. Um, well, he has one more HP. Um, he's got one health left, I think. Well, Brewmaster's gonna get hit, actually. So you should heal. Okay, cool. He did heal. Excellent. So armor is gone. You get armor. That's actually the end. Yeah. That's all she wrote. Let's increase the speed a little bit, shall we? XP. Should we give it to our brewmaster again? I guess so. I don't know if it's worth spreading out the XP. Uh, so that looks like a fight. That looks like fighting Cthulhu. And this looks like a rest area? I'll go with the rest area just to see. It is. Okay. So, we can get a Mage of the Sun. It gains double the amount of of power? Okay, I don't have anything to... Oh, back only. I'm guessing this row. Um, follow up, deal one damage to the lowest health enemy. That one seems pretty good. Uh, lightning. This character gains power, deal one damage to random enemy. I don't... Uh, yeah, I have no way of giving power. So I think I'm just gonna go with the archer. Party's full. Sacre bleu. Dismiss. I could just let... Uh, I don't want to let that... Um, actually, what if I do this? Is that a good setup? So, I wonder if we can... Maximum party size excludes summoned characters. Hmm. I wonder if that goes up at all. Um, yeah, he's max. Oh, right, because our hero isn't healed at the end of the uh, round. Let's refresh one. Whoa. 
Rune Smith, when another dwarf takes damage, gain one power. Round ends, gain one power for each other dwarf. Well, I have one other dwarf, so let's go ahead and... Actually, what, what are the other two? Let's not get too hasty. Doom, restore one health. Doom does something when an enemy character dies. Wait, an enemy character? Yes, an enemy character. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Deal one damage to the nearest enemy in this line. Hope. Does something with an allied character's health increases. Okay. Does that mean their maximum HP has to increase, or does that mean when they get healed? I think I'm going to go with the, the runesmith either way. Yeah, I like that. Now we can either go to this dark elf thing or a goblin. Let's go to goblin. Actually, that may be an orc. I don't know. <laughs> Flint Fetterbite. Uh, counter gain one power. Okay. Enemy heroes gain power after taking damage. Power increases the damage character's next attack. Right. Round end change lanes? Oh, so they rotate. Go ahead and actually put you there. Front only. Yeah, uh, well, now that I'm looking at this, maybe it's not the best. Oh, what if we do this? Oh, he can't actually go in the back. Good to know, okay. Yeah, I like this layout. God, that's a good, yeah, solid first round. Is it two HP? Oh, I guess one armor. Uh, one armor for each dwarf. I don't know if it takes damage. Yeah, okay. So he's going to take two damage. What's the order? Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. This, yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Kind of hoping he's going to heal himself, but hey. It's okay. Beautiful. I forgot about the power increase. He has four HP. He's dead. We're, we're gonna go first, so yeah, he's dead. Now I do get the brewmaster back, right? Yes, he does come back, okay. I thought he did. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's level up the brewmaster. Die this... Oh! He can't level up because he died. That's right. Um, we can just give it to... Oh, that archer does so much damage. Let's go ahead and give it to the... The rune... Rune boy. 4 HP, 4 HP. He has armor. Let's go to the next room. Ooh, attack speed, attack and speed. Ooh, that's really good. Having said that, that's the end of the round, so it doesn't benefit him. Follow up does. Yeah, let's give it to you. That seems really good. Bitter tooth. Follow up. Give random allied beasts plus one attack. Okay, well. Two, so that one's dead. What's the order? Ooh. Okay, this is actually kind of a good layout. Now I'm looking at it. Because our brewmaster is going to get hit twice, so he's going to heal him. And he's going to heal one of those two, yeah. Okay. I like that. 
He does three damage. Oh, because he gained a power. Oh, he gained two power. Now, does the power stay? No, it's just your next attacks will deal more damage. Okay. So ideally, he wants to go first. Well, he wants to get hit first. So he's going to do two damage. Uh, yeah, we're still looking good. What I should... Oh, no. I was going to see. I should switch this guy to the Brewmaster. So that way he gets armor, but... His healing doesn't proc if he takes damage to his armor. Uh, yeah. That's GG. Okay, now I can level up the Brewmaster this round, because he didn't die. If we get XP, I'm assuming we do, yeah. It looks like we get it every fight. What are you? Interesting. So he leveled up. Brewmaster level 2. Oh, he just gets more health? That's beautiful. That's actually all I wanted was more health. Lovely. Um, yeah, let's go here. I don't know what this guy is. I don't know if it's a fighter. Oh, no. Oh, it's a merchant. Take a look, buy a thing. Uh, now you already have a- oh, you- okay. So there's equipment slots. Oh, it looks like you can only have one. Unless you rank up, then you have another. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Is there a max HP? No, less. No, I don't want less health with him. Um, I do want more, though. Speed? How much? I have eight gold. I can only buy one of these. Hmm. Tell you what. Oh, the speed's really good, too. Oh, I can't even put it on him, so I can either put it on him or him. He has eight HP? Oh, right, because his item also gives him health. Tell you what, I'm going to actually buy this and put it... Oh, can I put it on my hero? can put it on my hero. Ooh. Okay, now I'm rethinking things. Let's give it to the runesmith. I kind of wanted to give it to my hero, but I'm going to give it to the runesmith now. Ooh, is this a boss fight? That looks like a boss fight. It seems kind of weird that there's no music in the, like campfire or the shops and stuff, but whatever. Summon two slimes and change lanes. Ooh, okay. Solidified slime. Ooh. Yo. Let's switch these guys here. He's gonna switch, so it's gonna be kind of hard. Oh, I don't want him to get armor, actually. Put you there. Ooh. Well, we'll we'll deal with that for now. I don't know if the solidified slime is going to activate now. Oh. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect. How was the order? Yeah, that's kind of perfect. It's just gonna hit our brewmaster. I think we'll actually just heal himself. Oh, I don't think he can heal himself. Oh, he can only heal someone else. Gotcha. Hmm. That changes things a little bit. Let's, let's stick with that lane. Oh, okay. They didn't even get a chance to act. Lovely. Let's... That's three... Three damage? Oh, that's gonna be four damage. Oh, okay. Uh, let's throw you in there. You here. They're both exhausted, which is okay.
I actually don't want him to die, so I'm going to put him up here. Yeah, that's perfect. Archer's just on ad control. Perfect. Look at that. Defeated. Lovely. Minus armor. Ooh, we got all sorts of stuff. Let's see what we got here. Eight gold? Okay. Ario didn't even take damage, so we don't even need that. Two XP. Oh, look at that. He's gonna level up. Is he gonna get it? Um, that's the same. That's the same. Yeah, extra slot and more health, it looks like. And then what is this? Allied beasts and lizard folk gain one health. I don't have any of those. Enemies take plus one damage from poison. Don't do poison. When a poisoned character dies, restore one health to a non-heroic damage ally. Well, let's reroll. Um, allied archer archers attack twice. Oh, that sounds really good. Gain one gold. Your hero has two less health. That sounds like a gamble. Seeing as it puts our hero at one health. Your first refresh on each campfire or store is free. Battle starts your hero attacks. That one seems pretty good too. I'm going to go with the archer one though. Because our archer is real solid. Alright, let's go. Now I think this is the next floor. Yeah, next floor. So you got one out of 13 up here. Yeah, there's a staircase here. Alright, let's go fight a witch. A witch? Oh, never mind. She sells potions. Potions, ha! Huh? Potions for a weary traveler. Okay. Transform an archer into a random level 3 character. Character loses all their equipment. Oh, but I want my archer. No. A random item? Oh, this is archer only. To a random item. You can remove equipment from a character by right clicking it. Right clicking multiple times will cycle through. Uh, remove carrier from initiation. Clicking multiple times will cycle through their inventory. Oh, okay. I think we're just going to go with the XP? We could technically buy both. It does change them to a level 3 character, though. That's such a huge improvement. But I'm not guaranteed to get an archer. I'm going to save it. I can actually buy this, too. Um, what is the plus one attack plus two speed? Let's take a gamble. Tanner gloves. Oh, it's plus max HP. Well, <clears throat> I should have kept the other one. Oh, well. How do I, how do I, there we go. Oh, well. Agent. No. Argent Fang. Poisonous. Round ends uh, change lanes. Okay. Oh, I misread this. I just thought allied archers attack twice. I didn't realize it was at the start of a battle. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Three damage. Oh, I'll get poison too. Um, that's not the best. Yeah, let's start here. See how this goes. I don't know. Okay, he already gets armor, that's right. Three health. Change lanes. I think we're still okay. Should 
gonna look to see. Yep, Archer is gonna kill that one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, you definitely need to get moved. Uh. Yeah, that works. Him being poison is actually pretty good. Hmm. What's the order? You're gonna go first. Two. Well, he's not gonna attack. Um. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't want him to get poisoned, but not much we can do about it. Cool. Snake's on one. One HP. We are good. He's hiding behind that. Doesn't matter. Archer's gonna finish him. Oh, never mind. This is a. This, I won't call him a blacksmith, but I don't technically be no. I don't know if he's technically a blacksmith. What are you? Armorsmith. That was close. Let's upgrade the archer. Hmm. Campfire is late. Let you hire and dismiss characters. Move your characters into your party and hire them. Dismiss characters. Yeah, I already figured that out. Thank you, though. Uh, an elf mage. Poisonous summoned allies. Have plus two attack. Well, she, gets, she doesn't summon anything. Um, but that's okay. What are you? Attack after gaining armor? Ooh. That's pretty good. Butcher, when a character dies. No, sorry. When a character kills an enemy, restore one health to a non-heroic damaged ally twice. So that's just a better brewmaster. When a character kills an enemy. Hmm. The Armorsmith one. Hmm. Attack after gaining armor. So the, the main one I'm looking to replace is our Armorsmith. And I think the Human Butcher is... our best option. The Elf Mage seems good, too. Oh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and sell him. we get the Butcher. And we're gonna save the remaining two gold. Um, so we got an eyeball or whatever this thing is. Let's go to go this one. Paralyzing attacks, round in, change one lane. It's okay. Noise. Um. Ooh, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Okay. Uh. I can't restore. Yeah, it's just an ally, but these guys can heal each other. Okay, he's paralyzed. Now, I don't know if he's paralyzed, if his effect will actually proc. I guess we'll find out. I don't think he's gonna die this turn, so actually we won't find out, but. Two, two. He's gonna get four hits. Uh... Either way, this isn't very good.
Hmm. Well, I think he's gonna have to just take the damage. Because if we move him, our hero is gonna take four damage. He's not gonna get a heal. And if I move our blacksmith, our runesmith here, then he's still gonna take two damage here. Oh no. Well, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to do it. I don't see a, b a better option. Oh. Wait a minute. So we an ally killed someone, but he didn't heal. Why didn't you heal? When this character kills, I'm so silly. Okay. Well, you're gonna take two damage. Um, no, he won't actually. No, he won't. The archer will kill him. You're gonna attack the boss. Archer hits him and the one above. He's dead. Oh, but he regenerated and respawned. Did, will he act now then? No, he doesn't. Okay. You have one HP? That's not good. Okay, well. Um. Just have to go there. I need to protect my hero. Okay, the boss didn't move. Oh, he's gonna kill him though. Oh boy. Just have to do it. Okay, this is fine. Everyone will survive. Oh, not only did we survive, we killed the boss. Lovely. That one was dicey, though. A little hit or miss. Alright, so we got XP, which I think that levels up our archer. It does. Nice. Nice. Mm, two... Yeah, I think it just increases the damage. He has 6 HP. Oh, I don't think it was calcul- Yeah, I wasn't calculating the um, gloves. Okay. Now, having said that... Do I put... The Runesmith somewhere else? Hmm... That is the question. I don't think so. I think we just leave him for now. I'm not sure if I like the butcher. Oh, nice. Hello again. Take a look. More things. Um, uh, you can remove equipment from. Yes, I already knew that. Thank you. Archer only. Hmm. Fighter. Oh, she has another. I don't know if he or she, but the archer has another slot. Um, plus health. Only humans, okay, plus health, minus speed, plus health, become poisoned? That's actually perfect. Which one was that? This one? Six. Oh, I don't have enough gold? Can I sell something for gold? I could sell this. It's kind of not really helping me. This would help me tremendously. I love it. Let's do it. Because he starts poisoned. Yeah. He starts poisoned. He takes one point of damage, which gives a bonus to our runesmith, who will gain power and he'll also heal people. Yeah. I love that. I love that combo. If it works the way I think it's going to. Store health to... 
Restore two health to a damaged ally. Okay. That's beautiful right off the bat. Love it. Um, yeah, that's fine. No one's moving, though. Okay, that's perfect, then. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Takes a hit, he heals. Yeah, I love the setup. The only problem is our Brewmaster has a finite amount of time to heal. Unless he can kill something, which he's gonna go... He's not going to. Hmm. That's okay. Cool. That was a lovely round. I, the Brewmaster is still kind of a iffy... iffy spot. He's in a good spot, but... I don't really have a way to heal him. I mean, I could just level up the Butcher. They don't have XP on them right now? No. Should I just level up the Butcher? I don't really have enough money to warrant. Oh, maybe I do. Let's throw it on. Let's throw it on the Butcher for now. I don't have to buy any of these. Okay. Well, never mind. Uh, for each ally, lizard folk, noob. Random enemy. That the, oh, it's just doom, yeah. Mages plus one. Chanter. Yep, well, that's not really worth it. So, let's go ahead and go. Let's go to the eyeball. We've already been to him. Let's go to the eyeball. Let's see what the eyeball is all about. Summon two wandering orbs. These things are, I guess. Targets one of the nearest enemies in any lane. Okay, so it will hit one of these two. I don't think these guys move at all, so. Hmm. Kind of a waste because he doesn't heal anyone. There. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay. What you're healing the brewmaster is tasty. Um, okay, so it doesn't really matter he's in the back. He's gonna take five damage though. Um, hold on. These are how much they have one HP? Kind of hoping our butcher would go before the brewmaster. He can actually. If I do that. Perfect. And I think. Perfect. Now he only has the option to heal him. Great. He's at the same health because they both hate him, but whatever. Mm, that's actually still pretty good. He's only going to take four damage. Oh, actually, hang on. No, he's going to take more damage than that. Um, Because these two eyeballs are going to go first. He has five health total. He's gonna take six points of damage. But the butcher will kill one of them. Let's just hope the butcher heals the rune smith. It's kind of a gamble. Oh no. Perfect. It was a gamble, but. 
That's so much damage. Uh, I'm gonna switch him. The Brewmaster can take the hit. Oh, I forgot these two attack the front line randomly, but the Brewmaster needs to take the the boss attack. Yeah, one more turn. Excellent. We're good. Doesn't matter what order. He's gonna hit for two in all of our. Uh, characters will attack. Yep. Lovely. Okay. Let's grab gold. UXP and go get some treasure. Oh. Oh, that's actually huge. We can put that back on uh attack speed. Does it only go oh it's archer only. Never mind. Has to go to him. I was going to say, maybe we can put it on the Butcher. Increasing the speed on the Butcher seems pretty strong. Targets the lowest health enemy. Oh. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna attack either of them either way. Um, I'm kind of okay with this. Four, five. He has six health, so he's gonna take two, two, four. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I don't think he moves at all. No, he doesn't move. Okay, that's good. Um, tell you what, actually, I'm, I'm okay with the Butcher not killing him because I want the Brewmaster to heal the Butcher. He did. Excellent. He did twice. Nice. Okay. That worked out perfectly. Yeah, now we can just keep going. Let's go ham. He's dead. Lovely. Textbook. And I think that gives us a third XP for our Butcher. Sure does. Um, increases health. Three times? Okay. I need to increase his attack. Oh, he's max. He's max level? Oh, cool. Um, shop or... Ah, let's go... We have nine. Yeah, let's go shop. Because we can get the Butcher a increased damage item. That's huge. Welcome back. Buy a thing. What is this? Dwarf only. Ooh. Oh, it's a counter. A counter is when you take damage, right? You can tell me? I think it's when... Okay, there we go. When the character loses HP... Oh, when it loses HP and survives. Do you already have two items? You do. Hmm. What is the other ones? Gain one armor. <laughs> plus three health. Uh, plus eight speed. Huh. Well... Plus speed on the butcher sounded good, but I don't know. This throwing axe sounds really good too. It's one damage to random enemy. I mean, he doesn't have any more uh, equipment slots. And I don't really want to get rid of either of those. These are both really good shields. He just has plus health. Maybe he would be a good one to put it on? Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, it's Doom. Okay. Yeah, let's put it on the Butcher. Especially if we can get, um, a little more damage on our Butcher. 
dungeon boss, the Ancient One. When an allied beast dies, gain plus one attack. Round and change lanes. Okay. Right off the bat. All right. I like this setup so far. He's gonna, he might change so the archer gets hit, so might have to watch out for that. Wait, don't you have plus eight speed? Okay, you do go first. I was gonna say, what the hell? Um, you don't have a target, so you're just gonna attack the boss. Yeah, we'll leave it. Two, two, perfect. Do, do, do. Solid damage. Ooh, that's not good. He takes three damage. Um... Exhausted, but I think it's a better option. Oh, he's gonna do four. Um, yeah, that's okay. This is a rough fight, though. Oh, I didn't realize he was at two health. Okay, well, that could have gone better. Um, he's gonna go first. He's gonna go second. We actually don't have a good play here. One damage. I think our Ruin Smith didn't. Didn't really pan out for us. Damn. I think that's, I think that's GG. We're gonna lose our archer. Oh. We're not gonna lose our archer. He's doing four. No, he did six damage. Just kidding. Because those two enemies died. Forgot about that. He's gonna do six damage again. Yeah. I'll be able to prevent death for a this round. No, two rounds. Yeah, that's GG. It's two, three. Oh, because no one was in that lane, he was straight for him. Yeah, we were dead either way. Oh well. We got pretty far for our first run, though. A terrible fate indeed. Let's see what you found. Looks like we did pretty good. Perhaps next time. Tinkerer? No, no. Tinkerer's on next unlock. I wonder what we unlocked the... Flame Adept. Always damage enemies in same column. Oh, okay. Back only. One damage to all. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Well, that was the dungeon beneath. This game is a lot of fun. I can see where the replayability comes from for sure the fact that there's so many classes uh no i don't know if i can see it from here daily challenge nope settings nope no i can't see them it's in game though you can see it let me see if you can see it on the front. oh i can change my hero too beginning with dawn crown very cool we'll look at that next time so even your hero can change that's very cool well, a pleasant surprise from this game, when I saw screenshots of the game, I kind of fell in love with it immediately because it reminded me of kind of like a top-down grid-based Final Fantasy, like original Final Fantasy, but I wasn't sure how the auto-battler was going to come into play, but I love it. I love the style, and I'm uh, really enjoying this game, so we're going we're gonna to try another run and see um, in a later date. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. You have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.